What is up guys, it's Matt from Retro Retake with our first build vlog for the channel. We mentioned this, uh, this segment of our channel in one of our crash videos and this will hopefully be the first of, of many videos that we plan to upload to the channel, uh, of this type anyway. Uh, so to kick, it, to kick it off, we've got our first client build. Uh, a client reached out to me and, and wanted to budget entry level game, gaming machine with the option of a small form factor uh, for the portability aspect as well as having room for upgrades later down the track. With these aspects in mind, I've gone and chosen a few parts, uh, which I, I think fit the client's needs uh, the best. I am planning on splitting these builds into a few videos, potentially splitting into parts for more high-end uh, system builds. With this build, however, I don't think there will be enough to do uh, to split it into, into parts for the, the actual build. However, I am planning on doing another video reviewing the motherboard and the, no, that's the graphics card and the motherboard. We'll start off with the motherboard. So for this build, I've got the H81M motherboard from AS Rock. It's an 1150 MHX motherboard, nothing too high end, which fits into the characteristics of a budget entry level build. I won't go into too much of the specifics of the board in this video, but I, I will do a, a video outlining the board and unboxing the board as well. Also looking at the features of the BIOS to overclock this guy here. So the CPU for the, the build, I've gone for the Intel G3258. It's a dual core processor clocked at 3.2 gigahertz and it is an unlocked processor. So I am planning on putting a small overclock depending on the thermals of the build. To power the system, I've gone with an entry VS series power supply from Corsair, the VS450. Um, I, I know that this build isn't very overpowered. Um, I think it comes to about 350 watts. So I've gone a bit, bit more just to give that headroom uh, for the overclock, for the graphics card overclock, and stuff like that. So for the graphics card for this build, I've gone with the GTX 950. Uh, I chose the GTX 950 off a similar price AMD card for the build for a couple of reasons. Number one is that, that Nvidia have their low-end graphics card market on point. For its price tag, this card goes up against the likes of an R7 370, and will beat it, more, it at most, if not all, benchmark tests. So much so that it actually goes up against uh, the R9 380, uh, even performing on par with that in some benchmarks. The second reason that is that NVIDIA cards use PhysX, which takes a lot of load away from the CPU uh, in titles that use PhysX. As I am using an entry-level CPU, the PhysX enabled card will take away a lot of the load of PhysX computing away from the CPU. For memory and storage for this build, I went with 8 gigs of RAM and a terabyte hard drive. I could have gone with 4 gigs of RAM, uh, this wouldn't really have affected the budget and I personally believe that 8 gigs of RAM is the sweet spot no matter what you were planning on doing with your computer. And the RAM is the RAM for this build is just a single stick of crucial branded value RAM clocked at 1600 megahertz. I did go with a single chip of RAM as you can see uh, because the H81M only does have two DIMM slots. So again with the storage for the, the build I went with a 1TB mechanical uh, hard drive. I could have gone with an SSD for this build, but with with the budget in mind, uh, putting SSD in in would have would have decreased the amount of storage that the client would have, and increased the budget if the client did want to go for a terabyte hard drive. The case was a bit tricky for this build. The client wanted a small form factor case, which they would be able to travel around with. One of the budget cases that I had initially intended on using was a mid tower form factor, and would have just been too big for the client's needs. After a bit of searching around for what suited both the client's needs and the client's budget, as well as what, uh, what was available to order in, I ended up going with the Silverstone SG-11. Anthony recently used this for his personal MATX gaming machine, which you can check out had his impressions and thoughts in, the, in his little VOG. I'll post it somewhere on, either on the screen or down below. Um, Silverstone do make some really impressive cases. The small, for, the small size and the fact you cram so much into this thing is certainly impressive to say the least. Depending on how Anthony's little unboxing of the vlog of his MHX build go, I may or may not do another short video outlining the specifics of this case.
So just whilst I've got the hard drive bays on display here, I'd just like to point out the SG-11 does support up to three 3.5 three inch drives and up to nine 2.5 inch drives. So we finished with the build. So what you have here is what the first client of ours has finally got. So we've got Sugar case, obviously the Asus motherboard, the 950, and we have value running. We've overclocked both the CPU and the GPU. The yeah, it's stable. <laughs> I don't know the exact cause. Matt's got all of that. You can just pop that onto the screen of what our clock and everything is. Uh, we got the CPU to four gigahertz. That's pretty much all I remember. Uh, we've got. No artifacts so far, so that's a good sign. Uh, we tried getting a bit more of a clock on it, it didn't really work out, so we just left it to this. So, you know, we've got Valley running pretty decent, I guess, for a single card, like 1300 or something. For what it is, it's pretty good. So, that's it, the build, done. Finn, first client, done.